Midwest state of Minnesota, a series of unfortunate events led to the death of George Floyd, a black American citizen, at the hands of a white police officer from the Minneapolis Police Department. Visual evidence shows that Floyd's death was a direct result of excessive force used by security services. The racially charged manner of this event led to many protests throughout the US. These peaceful demonstrations demanding equal rights were quickly hijacked by provocative groups seeking to benefit from the chaos. One such organization, which has been at the forefront of the ongoing violence and vandalism sweeping the US, is a radical left-wing group known as anti-fascists, or Antifa, socialist and anarchist Europeans who emigrated to America in the late 60s and 70s, formed the movement's presence in the US. The group spent many years building a network with like-minded foreign far-left organizations. But it is their recent participation in events like Occupy Wall Street and the Charlottesville protests which have resulted in a resurgence as the group has been able to garner attention and attract recruits. The presence of Antifa members at the George Floyd protests is profoundly concerning for Ankara, not only because of their destructive actions towards our NATO ally, but also for the close links they have with terror organizations that threaten Turkey's national security. Antifa shares many ideologies with the PKK, a group that has been designated as terrorists by the US, EU, and Turkey. The PKK has launched terror attacks against Turkey for more than 40 years, resulting in the deaths of over 40,000 people, including women and children. Antifa has also benefited from the Syrian civil war by working together with non-state actors by sending foreign fighters to receive military training. The YPG, which is the Syrian arm of the PKK, is a group that has helped militarize many Antifa members. Turkey recognizes the YPG as a terror group, but the United States has formed a partnership with them under the umbrella of Washington's coalition partner, the Syrian Democratic Forces. While the YPG has received billions of dollars in US taxpayer money for weapons and training, they have also trained Antifa members who now pose a national security threat to America. US President Donald Trump recently tweeted that he plans to designate Antifa as a terror organization. Turkey fully supports this decision and can empathize as our people have suffered tremendously over the years from radical left-wing terror attacks. Ankara hopes this will be a watershed moment for Washington. Terror is a global problem and it can only be defeated through solidarity.